The 19th Amendment is an important part of our history. We all understand how significant it was for white women, but it took the work, the lives, the blood, and the tears of legions of people to ensure that all people had voting rights, people like me. So let's give this historical moment a footnote. While we acknowledge this seminal legislation, we should also recognize the contributions of black women, including 22 trailblazing Howard University students who forged a path to help make this possible back in 1913. They were the founders of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, a public service sorority, and their first act of service was to participate in the Women's Suffrage March back in 1913. I think of these intrepid women and all they endured at the time, the domestic terror that existed, their brilliance, these descendants of once enslaved people who built this nation, showing their agency and bravery, walking to take a stand for the rights of all women to have a say in their destiny. And they did this in spite of the fact that many of the white women did not want them there. I'm a Delta now, one of generations of Deltas in my own family. My mom and I walked back in 2013 to mark the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment when my sorority sisters from around the nation converged here in Washington to walk in the footsteps of our founders. As we look toward our responsibility today, as we tell the story of this legislation, let us tell the full story about efforts today to stymie the votes of some people, to change laws that make it harder for women and others to carry out their civic duty. We should view this through the prism of equity and how much further we have to go.